Hello everyone, my name is Kathy Heisey and I am the Milwaukee City Council Council President. And I'm here today to share with you one of my favorite childhood books. It is Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. And this is my original copy. It was printed in 1968, so it's a little more bent and battered. Um, but it's a book that I really loved. And the drawings in this book are by the same person who did Where the Wild Things Are, which is another one of my favorite books. So let's get reading. And I'll do a close up of every page as I go to. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, I want help. Help, little girl, I'll give you help if I can, said Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, it's about my mother. Your mother, said Mr. Rabbit. It's her birthday, said the little girl. Happy birthday to her then, said Mr. Rabbit. What are you giving her? See how Mr. Rabbit is hanging out in the forest and the little girl comes and finds him and asks him for some help. That's just it, said the little girl. That's why I want help. I have nothing to give her. Nothing to give your mother on her birthday, said Mr. Rabbit. Little girl, you really do want help. Mm -hmm. I would like to give her something that she likes, said the little girl. Something that she likes is a good present, said Mr. Rabbit. And there they are in the woods starting to walk. Looks like a beautiful place, doesn't it? What do you like here? I really like that meadow with that big mountain in the background. And the trees are pretty neat too. It looks like a really nice place that they live. But, but what? said the little girl. Yes, what? said Mr. Rabbit. She likes red, said the little girl. Red, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her red. Something red, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something red, said Mr. Rabbit. What is red? said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there's red underwear. No, said the little girl. I can't give her that. What does that little girl look like she's doing? Me, it looks like she's thinking really hard. Would you give your mother red underwear for her birthday? That was kind of a silly suggestion from Mr. Rabbit, wasn't it? He's kind of funny. There are red roofs, said Mr. Rabbit. No, we have a roof, said the little girl. I don't want to give her that. There are red birds, said Mr. Rabbit. Red cardinals. No, said the little girl. She likes birds and trees. What do you notice about that house? Do you see the red roof? Do you think that's where the little girl lives? I think it might be. It looks like a nice place to live, huh? Do you like birds and trees? Or do you want a bird that's in a cage? I like them in the trees too. There are red fire engines, said Mr. Rabbit. No, said the little girl. She doesn't like fire engines. Really? People don't like fire engines? Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are apples. Good, said the little girl. That's good. She likes apples. But I need something else. 
What are they doing here? Looks like they found a big, beautiful apple tree. And look at that. Mr. Rabbit is helping the little girl reach the apples. Isn't that nice of him? He's a really good friend, huh? Well, what, what else does she like? Asked Mr. Rabbit. Well, she likes yellow, said the little girl. Yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. You, you can't give her yellow. Something yellow, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. What's yellow? said the little girl. There they are walking through the woods. Looks like they're eating. And the little girl, oh, they're eating the apples that they picked. And the little girl is carrying some of those apples in her, in the skirt of her dress. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are yellow taxi cabs. I'm sure she doesn't want a taxi cab, said the little girl. The sun is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't give her the sun, said the little girl, though I would if I could. A canary bird is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes birds and trees, the little girl said. There you go. Do you see the little yellow bird up in the tree? That's right, you, you told me, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, butter is yellow. Does she like butter? We have butter, said the little girl. Bananas are yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. Oh, that's good, that's good, said the little girl. She likes bananas. I need something else though. What do you see here? What are they, what did they come upon in the woods? Is that someone's picnic? I see a couple of bananas there. What else does she like? Asked Mr. Rabbit. She likes green, said the little girl. Green, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her green. Mm -hmm. Something green, maybe, said the little girl. Emeralds, said the rabbit. Emeralds make a lovely gift. I can't afford an emerald, said the little girl. Parrots are green, said Mr. Rabbit. Oh, but she likes birds and trees. No, said the little girl. Parrots won't do. And there they are in the woods, talking. She's really thinking hard about this. Sometimes that's the nicest thing about a present. It's not what you give, it's how much you put your care into thinking about how much the person would like it, huh? Peas and spinach, said Mr. Rabbit. Peas are green, spinach is green. No, said the little girl. We have those for dinner all the time. Do you like peas and spinach? I do. Caterpillars, said Mr. Rabbit. Some of them are very green. She doesn't care for caterpillars, the little girl said. How about pears, Bartlett pears? The very thing, said the little girl. That's the very thing. Now I have apples and bananas and pears, but I need something else. There they are. Wow, look at that beautiful pear tree they found. She can't quite reach some of those pears, huh? I bet Mr. Rabbit will help her. You think he'll help her? What else does she like? asked Mr. Rabbit. 
She likes blue, the little girl said. Blue. You can't give her blue, said Mr. Rabbit. Something blue, maybe, said the little girl. Lakes are blue, said the rabbit. But I can't give her a lake, you know, said the little girl. There they are by the lake. Doesn't that look pretty? Stars are blue. I can't give her stars, the little girl said, but I, I would if I could. Sapphires make a lovely gift, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't afford sapphires either, said the little girl. Bluebirds are blue, but she likes birds and trees, said Mr. Rabbit. Right, said the little girl. How about blue grapes, asked Mr. Rabbit. What do you see Mr. Rabbit holding? Looks like he's got some great grapes there, huh? And look at the sky, it's full of stars. We spent all day figuring out what to give the little girl's mother for her birthday, didn't they? Yes, that is good, very good. She likes grapes. Now I have apples and pears and bananas and grapes. That makes a good gift, said Mr. Rabbit. All you need now is a basket. I have a basket, said the little girl. So she took her basket and she filled it with the green pears and the yellow bananas and the red apples and the blue grapes. It made a lovely present. See that? There they are on the porch of their house. Do you see the red apples and the green pears and the yellow bananas and the blue grapes? Doesn't that look beautiful? Thank you for your help, Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl. Not at all, said Mr. Rabbit. Very glad to help. Goodbye now, said the little girl. Goodbye, said Mr. Rabbit, and a happy birthday and a happy basket of fruit to your mother. There they are. Saying goodbye to each other. And that's the end. Thank you for joining me for this story time. Have a good day.